Shirewolves owe us lunch money, and we will be taking it at that event. Whitworth, the system, the clock, Harlov, none of these guys can get in front of my destiny. Ladies and gentlemen, allow me to introduce to you my machine. You know her as Janine. And your winner, Janine! She didn't win. She didn't win by much. So, I think my machine has something she would like to offer you. I'm not dirty. going anywhere until you give me an answer to a challenge right now. Okay, do, do I hear you Listen. right, Janine? You're challenging Emma Five to a movie trivia showdown match. It's not that hard to understand. I accept. versus competitor, but it's also faction versus faction. It reminds one of the Montagues and the Capulets from the classic Claire Danes movie. That's right. Now listen, um, the, it was actually, it was funny. You and Emma Fife were sitting at the table during um, during Stacey Howard yep. and RB3's match, and Janine the Machine comes out here, and Emma was kind of minding her own business, and the Machine throws down a challenge, and to, to Emma Fife's credit, she just says, yeah, let's do it. And the thing is, Emma Fife has been on this this road here to where she started at the Schmodown Spectacular winning uh -huh. the Manager's Bowl. Big W for her, conquering a lot of foes that we were rooting against anyway. One of those foes being Jay Washington. Don't and like him. There's a lot of beef there because Jay Washington last season tries to recruit Clark Wolf, tries to mm -hmm. recruit Rachel Cushing, can't, loses to Mark <laughs> Andreco, right? Can't do it. And then Emma not only gets Mark Andreco, gets the Shire Wolves, and has the Star Wars champion in her faction. Everything is going right for the, for uh, Emma right now, and I think that it is time for the Viper Squad now adding Marquia to their squad to really kind of throw some heat towards the Five Club. Yeah, sure, and that's why Emma Fife is the favorite today, but if I'm just looking at this on paper as the uninformed layperson, I'm seeing 1-0 for Emma Fife yep. and 1-0 for Janine the Machine. So this is going to be an even playing field. It's just going to be who can play to their strengths better. I'm excited to watch this Matchup. I am too, and we're going to get a chance to hear from the competitors, and there's not going to be a lot of nice words. Here we go. I know what you're thinking. You can spare your comments. Where's the rest of the Fife Club? They all wanted to be here. I politely asked them to please hang back. After all, I won the manager bowl on my own. That's what kind of set me down this path. Obviously, Andreco was there, and for that, I am extremely grateful. He is the first person who agreed to be part of this faction and set us on the road to victory that we seem to be doing pretty well on. I remember around this time last year, I told the entire Schmodown that I was gonna put together a faction that would put the league on notice, and we were this close to having it until somebody decided she wanted to get high off white bread and be traitorous. 
So now I have Stacy who's out handling Viper business. I've got the machine who's gonna <laughs> wreck some hellish shop today. And right now, I want to take the pleasure of introducing you to the newest member of the Viper Squad. Ladies and gentlemen, please start clapping in your seats, by your computers, by your cell phones, even your bootleg flat screen TVs for marvelous Marquia McCarty. So, as you see, things are getting a hell of a lot bigger and a whole lot better out here. Personally, I think that there's a little bit of a grudge held on Jay Washington's part because I scored the Shire Wolves for my faction. He was after Rachel Cushing, hardcore. He maybe expressed a little interest in Clark, but Rachel is the one that really, really stings. And I think that there's a little bit of jealousy on Jay's part, quite frankly. I gave two donkey deuces about Emma Fife and her little club of goody goodies. That was until Blondie started running her mouth. It's easy to just lazily cherry pick some decent players from the league, but a real evil genius knows how to build killing machines from the ground up. You're gonna be out there, you're gonna be talking about my goody two-shoes attitude or how I'm so jealous of Jay Washington and how the Viper Squad is here to destroy everybody. But listen, girl, it's way easier to talk smack than to play the game. It's totally different up there under the lights. I've been in big matches. I've been around big matches before. So good luck to you. When those lights are on, it is a totally different ball game. Two things you can do about it. Not so golden, Mike. And that's nothing and deal with it, damn it. Look, a lot of the stuff oh, was dear. said. Was, uh, oh dear. Well, Emma was saying what we all what we all said, and that was the fact that she's calling out the fact that Jay might be a bit jealous of the success. Is where Jay is saying, you know, he put together the wrong squad last time, and this is the right squad. He introduced Marquia inside of that uh, inside of that introduction right there, and then now we have um, this heated rivalry between both groups. Yeah, I mean, I, I don't know how to put this lightly as far as Jay Washington as the leader of a faction goes. Uh, he, he's in need of hydration. He could use electrodes. He's a very thirsty manager, and yeah. when you look at Emma Fife, she not only is a good competitor, but she also seems to be more in control of what's going on in her faction. Jay's building something right now, and they can take a huge step towards that process with a win over Emma Fife here this today. This would be huge for Janine. She would be 2-0. She took a victory over Bonnie Somerville, who hadn't been back in the ring for a little bit, and then you had Emma, who, who had beaten Tom, Jay, and Ricky at the same time. So because of that, that victory just gets her that much more in the rankings over Janine. But this is a huge victory for either one of these competitors here. They would be 2-0 and oh and find themselves in the top 10 in the singles. That would be pretty interesting. Yeah, I mean, look, it's a huge achievement to beat Emma Fife and taking nothing away from Janine the Machine. The fact that Bonnie Somerville got the studio address right on the day of her game yep. is enough for her. Janine's got a taller test here today. I love you, Bonnie Somerville. See you at home tonight. She's not watching us. Oh, oh. Yeah. Huh? No, what? Nothing. What's I, that? No, that's all right. Was I just talking? No, that's all right. Hey, thanks to our sponsor, Starbucks. All right, here, here we go. Now we get into the tale. I'm drinking today, Christian. I can tell. Here we go to the tale of the tape. First, you get the machine. Her strengths are comic book movies. You have... 90s movies and talking smack and not liking uh, managers with blonde hair apparently. Yeah, yeah, she's yeah. not a fan of the blonde. No, and persuasion. then you get Emma Fife, and Emma Fife has the strengths of Harry Potter movies, also comic book movies, and stealing people away from Jay Washington. Uh, uh, yeah. Emma Fife is blonde. She is under attack, as is all of Sweden right now because Janine the Machine is coming. Can she do it? We're about to find out. All right, so if you're ready, you ready to go? Uh, yeah, I, I, I believe I you're made ready. it clear that I was ready. All right, well then, it's time for the Movie Trivia Schmoda! <laughs> Introducing first, representing the Viper Squad, led to the ring by the urban gladiator Jay Washington and marvelous Marquia Janine the Oh, a lot of 
to smack I'm just, we're just calling it like it is. Today. All, right. all right, all right. Just concentrate Getting, on your wow. fight. Marquis has given us cold eyes here. I mean, angered at us. A lot of anger here, but as the look, and well, this is what I like about the about the Viper Squad. They do. They come out. They wait. They wait. Now Emma said she was going to be by herself, but I'm, I'm hearing other. I'm hearing other things. I mean, you don't think not, it's just going to be Emma Fife emerging through that curtain in a matter I, of seconds? I, I heard that there was a certain competitor that that plead plead with Emma and said I, she really wanted to be out with. Her. I so, have no. Who could be? I, I honestly don't know. And her opponent representing the Fife Club with a record of one win, no defeats, the Golden Mike, Emma Fife! Oh, there she goes. Emma Fife walking out. Oh, she's got the saber. She's got the saber. She's got the saber. She's got the saber. She has a poor mug, a lightsaber. Yeah, it's one on three right now. Yeah, right. So Emma did actually come out. Emma, you you are by yourself. Oh, wait a minute! Oh, wait, a minute. wait a minute! The crusher is here. The crusher, with the the crusher is here. Oh, just some extra pork backup. Yeah. So the Five Club, the Five Club has really been there for each other, and and Rachel Cushing coming out here. That is a nice show of support. Will yeah. the pork be for support or for sustenance during the match? We're about to find out. I'm about to bite the head off this little pork. <laughs> just like Gina's, Janine's about to bite the head off Emma Fife. Packed with oh. protein. I oh. see Jay Washington's Instagram selfies from the gym all the time. He clearly needs more grams today. Yeah. All right, here we go, guys. So if I can ask, if I can ask the Viper Squad to, to please leave. Jay going wonderful. back to 24 hour fitness. Oh. Will he take Marquia with him? Uh, uh, I like I like Janine's mug. All right, here we go. Here, here we go. So guys, round number one. How's it going to work, Mark? Uh, in round number one, the competitors are going to hear eight questions from eight different movie categories. Each question is worth one point. There is no penalty for missing a question. There is no stealing in round one. Once we ask the question up here at the answer desk, you have 15 seconds to answer. You are going to hear the countdown from five to one. Please write down your answer or your best attempt at the answer on the whiteboard in front of you. When we ask you to reveal your answer, please show the whiteboard to the camera as well as verbalize it into the amplification device provided by Cobster. All right, so if you have all the rules here too, remember the JTE rules, remember the challenge rules, and Emma, are you ready to go? I'm ready, Christian. Machine, you ready? Let's do this. Then let's get ready to schmoot out. All right, here we go. Round number one begins, and your first question comes from the realm of action adventure. Ladies, here we go. Who played the lead character, Beatrice? That's Beatrice. 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 Tris Pryor in the Divergent films. I believe Beatrice was a name of one of the mice in Cinderella. Tell me I'm wrong. You're wrong. What were their names? No, no, I'm sorry. The fairy god. Were they Sleeping Beauty? Five. Okay. Four. Point taken. Three. You're insulting me now. Two. Repeat the question. Who played the lead character Beatrice, Tris Pryor, in the Divergent films? All right, so I know that they were talking mice in one of them. Yes. Well, Gus. Either Cinderella. Gus was. But then there were three fairy godmothers, one of whom was Beatrice. Five. Four, That's right, though. Three, two, one. Pens down, please, Janine and Emma. Uh, Mark, the movie you're thinking of, I think, is Sleeping Beauty, and the answer is Shailene Woodley. Correct for one point, Janine. Don't have it. Didn't have it. Okay, all right. So now he goes to Emma Fife taking the one-point lead Saw here. Shailene Woodley at a health food store one time in Los Angeles. Did you? She's a nice person. I heard, I heard she's hugged. She likes to hug. Did not hug me that no, day, okay. right. nor any other day. We go to romantic comedy, and your question is... Who plays Dr. Aaron Connors, Amy Schumer's co-lead and romantic interest in Trainwreck? Some would say that was a Tom Dagnino-like biopic. <laughs> Trainwreck. <laughs> yeah, very different yeah. plot and theme right. than, yeah. Is it? Five. I, it may not be that different. Four. Can you repeat the question? Yep. That's your first one. Emma Five spending JTE hurry up, hurry up. rules like she has in Black Amex. Your question is... Who plays Dr. Aaron Connors, Amy Schumer's co-lead and romantic interest in Trainwreck? And five, four, three, two, one. Janine? Bill Hader? Correct. <laughs> that was the name I uh, could not come up with. I knew it was kind of like, uh, anyway, it was an SNL person. I put Fred Armisen. <laughs> Fred Armisen. And didn't right. you do a little bit of voice work for your little friend, BB-8? Oh. <laughs> I believe, actually, that was Ben oh. Schwartz. No, Ben, ben Hader. Hader did also. Oh. Yeah, they both did. They both did, yeah. All right, here we go. Points are flying yeah, by the screen. All right, here we go. Here we go. 
Next one is dramas. Dramas. In the film Spotlight, Michael Keaton and Mark Ruffalo work for which newspaper? Uh, did you know Michael Keaton and Mark Ruffalo have both played superheroes? Can you name the superheroes they've played? Just thought it'd be a fun. Mr. Mom. <laughs> that, technically, He's a yes. superhero. Uh, Five. Is raising kids a superpower? Four. Absolutely. I say no. Three. You're a scumbag. Two. I say get rid of him. <laughs> One. And Emma. Total guess. The New York Times. Incorrect. Janine. Guess. Chicago Sun Times. Correct. Looking for Boston Globe. Uh, they both got actual right newspapers, coast, though. Right coast. <laughs> All right, it is one to one as we move on to the world of comic book movies. Your question therein Who played reporter Vicki Vale in Tim Burton's 1989 film Batman? You ever seen Going uh, Keaton. Blank Man? Back to back. I, I saw Blank Man in the theaters. It was Damon funny. Wayans. He had concentrated flatulence, yeah. was a good joke, I remember. It wasn't funny. David Alan Greer? Five. I heard him. I Four. chuckled. Three. Two, a lot, actually. One pens down, please. And we have uh, Janine. Kim Basinger? Correct. Kim Basinger. Correct. Is it Basinger? I want to give them neither points. They, I go Basinger. They spelled it right. No it's point funny. for anyone. Stop it. <laughs> Stop it. Next Hit the question. G. Next question. All right, here we go. Fantasy sci-fi. Fantasy sci-fi is your next question. Who directed the first Hellboy film? How would you like it if your nickname was Hellboy? All right. Hey, here comes Hellboy Harloff. Hellboy. That should be my nickname. That should have been <laughs> better than Haymaker. Hey, right? don't let Hellboy find out about that. Yeah. Five, four, three, two, one. Emma? I don't know who it is, but it was not Guillermo del Toro. Yes, it was. It was? It was. Oh, oh, damn it. All she had to do oh, was I thought he only directed Golden not. Kingdom. Yes, it was. Oh, she does goodness. not get the point because she had not. Damn yes, it. that's right. Janine. Guillermo del Toro. She had it. Oh. This is where you didn't want to get clever on that one. Wow. Just go with your gut. And oh, Emma nice. just missed it there. All right, here we go. Next one. <laughs> All right. Our next question comes from the world of animated movies. These are movies that are drawn on paper on a computer. Your question is, what is the name of Dwayne The Rock Johnson's character in Moana? Looks like they both have this one. Both writing this one down. I hope Emma Fife does not write N O T at the top. <laughs> Five. No, I learned my lesson, Mark. Four, <laughs> three, two, one. Pens down, please. And Janine. Maui? Correct. Emma. Maui. All right, so Machine's still up by one here. Four because of that, three. not Del Toro. We have a one point lead by Machine. All it's right. getting that'll be, so hot. That'll be in my here. best spin, you know. I know. Shout out to John Stephen Roca. Don't worry, it's not that bad. Here we go. So, next question is horror. Horror, horror thriller. Horror, horror thriller, thriller is your next category. I know, your I penultimate one in round one. And um, I'm going to allow Christian to Thank read you. this question. Just steal my thunder here. All right, here. Horror thriller. Why don't you go ahead and read one? Thank you. A cricket bat is used to fight off zombies in which horror comedy? How would reading that question feel? Do you think you can do another one? No, I think you ruined it for me. <laughs> yeah. You heard it. I yeah. set you up. I was setting it up for you. No, I time. teed you up. Um, five, four. Three, two, one, pens down, and Emma. Shaun of the Dead. That's correct. Janine. Shaun of the Dead. Okay. Machine still keeping that lead here. 5-4. Machine up by one as we get to our last question. Yeah, well played round so far. This is a Patreon question. You can okay. check out the Schmodown Patreon. Thank you to all of our patrons for your support. This Patreon question comes from a loyal Jake Hammer. Thank you, Jake, for all your support of the show. Jake, apparently, his last name is Hammer. You think he likes suspense movies, action, maybe construction movies? He went with comedies. All comedies right. Right. is your last category. Category from Jake Hammer, and the question is, what movie features the song Scotty Doesn't Know as a running gag throughout the film? The gag? The, the, Boy, the, the, uh, the ooh, crowd. crowd. The crowd yeah. seems to be a crowd you favorite here. Know this one or you don't kind right. of thing. Five, four, three, two, one. Pens down, Emma and okay. Janine. Euro trip. That's correct, Emma. I uh, did not know the answer, but I'd like to take this moment to thank all of the patrons. Thank you. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Thank I, you like, I thought it was a very nice thing. So oh, now we get to round number two. Just the two. fact that so many people know Euro trip. Yeah, that's I've, true. I've well, never seen the movie. I didn't know it was that popular. Well, the machine <laughs> saw it, and the machine has a two-point lead here over the golden mic. That's right. Now, to round number two. Emma Fife, the favorite here. Janine taking an early commanding lead into round two. In round two, each competitor is going to get a spin at the golden wheel of justice. Each category on that wheel has 
four questions inside of it. Those questions are each worth two points. If you're not sure of the answer, you can check to multiple choice, at which point the value of the question will go down to one. Keep in mind, competitors, there is stealing available in round two. And I would like to point out that one of our slices is from the Patreon that Emma Fife is such a big fan of, and that would be Monster Movies. That is our sponsored slice. Like All right, The Machine, you are up by two. Would you like to go first or second? I'll let Blondie go first. Oh, Blondie's oh, gonna go first. Oh, Typical. hair color <laughs> thrown in the mix. But it's not really, it's, it's not accurate because it's like blonde pink. Yeah, there's some there, there's some uh, some pink going on it's, in there too. Yeah, it's, I, I would say salmon mauve perhaps. Yeah, yeah, it's blonde. Has anybody ever walked into a salon and said, I want salmon? I mean, you walked into a restaurant. Good spin by Fife here. I had salmon and asparagus. Pork helped her out with that one. Ooh, Is it ooh. Spinner's Choice, Christian? No, it's not. It's going to be yes. 2000. Yes. You sticking with it or spinning again? One more okay, time. Okay, not a fan of the movie category as far as a decade goes. Yeah. So what are we doing here? Interesting to note. And round and round the wheel goes. You think she's looking for something that would be in the realm of, I don't know, uh, a uh -huh. Harry Potter. What would have those kind of things in it? Kate, Kate Winslet, Winslet right. movies it is. So Kate Winslet is what? Goes, you go first? Uh, sure. Why don't All you right. highlight the question? Sure, we'll absolutely. Go. Kate Winslet. Here we go. Kate Winslet. All right. Emma Fife. Yes. In the world of Kate Winslet movies. She's an actress in Hollywood. Yes, I am aware. A little bit more luck? Oh. Thank you, Rachel. Thank another you. Port, another Thank port you. comes out here. So uh, Christian, another port has been added, yeah. and that's another port that has escaped Jay Washington's mouth. Right. All right. Here we go. Emma, your first question to you and your gaggle of porgs. <laughs> it's a murder of porgs. It's a murder. Yeah. Murder of porgs. No, like crows. Anyway. Your question is: Besides <laughs> Leonardo DiCaprio and Kate Winslet, what other Titanic star? appeared in Revolutionary Road. Hmm. Can I go multiple choice? I can provide that for you and your school of porgs. Is it A, Billy Zane, B, Kathy Bates, C, Bill Paxton, or D, Susie Amos? I'm gonna go with Billy Zane. Incorrect, <laughs> Janine for the steal. Bill Paxton? Ah, oh. no point for either one of them. We're looking for Kathy uh. Bates. She'll club your heels if you miss another question. <laughs> Question two. Question number two. <laughs> Who plays the older Michael Berg and Kate Winslet's co-lead in the movie The Reader? I'm gonna have to go multiple choice. <laughs> I got that for you and your flock of porgs. Is it A, Kevin Spacey, B, Ralph Fiennes, C, Patrick Wilson, or D, Jude Law? I'm gonna say Ray Fiennes. Give her a one point. point. <laughs> there you go. Okay. She's within one of Janine. And your next question, Emma Fife. Mm -hmm. Kate Winslet played the villain, Janine Matthews, in this film franchise based off a series of young adult books. Uh, beautiful Creatures. Ooh. That is incorrect. Uh, we go to Janine. Divergent. Two points. Oh, steal. Opening up a three Two point lead. And she is Janine. not singing Emma touched Johnson. the wheel yet. <laughs> yeah. All right. Hold Emma on. Fife. Oh, that's right. Wait, yeah, that's right. All right, Emma Fife, your last question to get within a point of Janine the Machine. Kate Winslet starred opposite Michael Fassbender in this 2015 biopic. Uh, I'm going to have to go multiple choice. <laughs> I can provide that for you and your uh -huh. pride of porgs. Is it A, The Mountain Between Us, B, Spotlight, C, Steve Jobs, or D, Concussion? Can you repeat the answers again, please? Happy to. Is it The Mountain Between Us? Spotlight, Steve Jobs, or Concussion? I'm going to go Mountain Between Us. So Steve, Steve Jobs. Correct. Uh, and yeah. Janine the Machine, Not my day. without yeah. even gracing the wheel with the faintest Looks of good. touches, yeah. has a four, four point, point lead. lead. <laughs> but, now, but look, Emma needs some steals here, and hopefully mm -hmm. that she can land on something, a strength. But we'll see what happens to Janine. Janine. Go ahead and give it a spin. Janine, no Jeez. help from a porg no. spinning this wheel. Janine, if she lands on something, has a good spot to put this game out of commission. Yeah, this is, this is big for the machine. She's looking. The machine is looking solid it here. It slows uh -oh. down. Past opponent's choice, it could be rom-coms, Christian. Rom-coms, which is a strength. Is she Does gonna, she like to fall in love and laugh? She, she says yes. This is something she is uh, it's a strength, as I said. <laughs> OK, here we go. All right, Janine, you have four questions in the world of rom-coms, your first one. 
Ryan Reynolds tells his daughter the story of how he met her mother in which 2008 film? Definitely, maybe. Two points. Yeah. <laughs> Two points. All right. What was Amelie's occupation in the charming romantic comedy Amelie? Multiple choice. Is it A, market clerk, B, nanny, C, salon hairdresser, D, waitress? Waitress. That's correct for yeah. one point. All right. This is a pretty incredible run Janine's yeah. on right now. In the romantic comedy slash comedy, Dave, who plays the first lady, Ellen Mitchell? Is it Emma Thompson? No, is that correct? Um, Steel. Big Steel. Uh, Big Steel. Meryl Streep? Oh, no. Sigourney Weaver. Sigourney, uh, Sigourney Weaver. Weaver. Duh. Sigourney oh, Weaver. I totally knew that. All right. All right. And Janine, two points here. Because of that miss, there's no chance for a knockout, but here we go. In which film will you find Paul Rudd, a real estate, in search for a male best friend? I love you, man. For two points. Yeah. <laughs> oh, boy. Janine the Machine having a great 14-5 here. Nine-point lead as she gets into round number three. Mark, how does round number three work? Round number three works like this. Each competitor is going to give us three numbers that range from one to 20. Those numbers correspond to a category up here at our answer desk. Because Janine is so far <laughs> up front, or even with a one-point yep. lead, she's still got this honor. Janine's going to give us her numbers first. Then we'll get the numbers from Emma. Your first question is going to be worth two points. Your next question is worth three points. Your last question, should we get that far, is worth a big, meaty five points. And that will determine the fate here today. Uh, Janine, without further ado, your numbers, please. Uh, three, six, and nine. Three, six, and nine. Going the all, those are, those all are right. what, prime numbers? Emma, five. No, uh, they're not. Let's go 10, 7, and 14. 10, 7, and 14. One of those is a prime yeah. number. Emma <laughs> Fife has to hit. Emma Fife has to hit all three of these in order to stay in the game here. Jay Washington on his feet, hoping for this TKO. But here we go as we get to. Oh, oh, two more pugs coming in. Oh, we have. Thanks, uh, Rachel. Uh, <laughs> All right. Okay. All right. As we get, as we get Emma, to. Emma Fife has as many porgs as yeah. points right now, Christian. All right. I do. All right. Oh. It's a. I'm, I'm stating a fact here. You just got booed. Stating a fact here. Hey, you just you just want heal on me. You just want heal on me. I never go heal. All right. Here we go. So, unless the good people at Coors Light ask me to. All right. All right. Be nice to Emma Fife. Here we go. Yeah. So we have number ten is what you chose. Yes. You chose Matthew McConaughey for your two pointer. Okay. All right. To stay in the game here, Emma, you need this. Who played Matthew McConaughey's co-lead Rayon in Dallas Buyers Club? Jared Leto. Two points. <laughs> All right. So Still in the game. The game. extra ports clearly supplementing her film knowledge. That jumps us to her three-pointer. And her three-pointer comes in the, in the realm of Sandra Bullock films. Okay. Sandra Bullock films. Who plays George Wade, an arrogant billionaire, real estate tycoon in two weeks' notice? Uh... Two weeks notice. Hmm. Five, four. Can you repeat three? the question? Oh, the last JT rule. Yeah, she has one. Oh, she has one. <laughs> Who plays George Wade, an arrogant billionaire real estate tycoon, in two weeks' notice? Is it Hugh Grant? Three points for Emma Fife. <laughs> she plays Fyfe her best when she needs to here. the most. Her back Uses is that against the wall yeah. this entire <laughs> round. If she gets this yes. next question right, takes Christian, the lead. inexplicably, <laughs> Janine the Machine is now going to have to come to play in round three as well. She takes the lead. All right, so here is your five-pointer. It is in the realm of Scorsese films. Paul Schrader was the screenwriter of which Martin Scorsese film? I will uh, repeat the question. Paul Schrader was the screenwriter of which Martin Scorsese film? Uh, I will say Gangs of New York. <laughs> and your winner by way of technical knockout, Janine the Machine. Could have chosen Raging Bull, would have taken Taxi Driver. Look at 
the machine at 2 and 0. Oh. Look at the bottom. And where is the where's the Viper squad? And we're waiting. Jay for Washington, yeah. you know he's he's got oh, there he is. He's, oh, he's dancing. Now he's dancing. Mark go in there alongside, and they're just yeah, waiting they're to waiting. greet Janine, but they're off camera. I don't know why they're and off camera. I wonder oh, what would happen if they go. were on camera. Yeah, they're, so, they're so happy. Okay, well they did it. Jay finally gets a victory over Emma Fife. He's very excited, but I mean, but there you go. Um, I don't right, think so. this is the end of Emma Fife in no. singles by any stretch of the imagination. Emma but clearly, Emma, Emma Janine didn't want to play in singles. She was just she was just accepting the challenge because she was up here. And Emma does not stray from a challenge. She was challenged. She said yes. Emma is managing a very. She's good a great attraction. manager of a great faction. Yeah. Um, but you need the machine. I mean, you, you talk it about. It, it, it's impressive. one thing to manage a faction. It's another thing to put a faction on your back. And it seems to be what Janine the Machine's yeah. mo is because she is taking the Viper Squad and as we said in the pregame elevating them to another level with this victory here today. Well, I'm looking forward to seeing what's going to happen in these post interviews because I'm sure we have a lot of matchups that could potentially happen. Here we go. What's up, Schmodown patrons and fans? I am here with Janine the Machine, the first place finisher today. How are you feeling? I'm feeling perfect. I'm glad you're feeling perfect. Someone else is feeling very excited right now. Jay, how are you feeling? I'm feeling wonderful. This is beautiful. I'm even going to tolerate standing next to you. Hey. We said we were going to do something, and we she did it phenomenally. It was beautiful. Janine didn't even have to answer a question in the third round. Did you get how dope that is? You wouldn't. But it's so dope. I swear to God. <laughs> I definitely would not because I'm not on that level, and that's okay. <laughs> but you know what? You know what? I feel like we can rub salt in this world a little bit more. I feel like just a little well, bit let's more. Let's just make it about Janine. Uh, Janine. <laughs> let's talk about uh, where, at what point in the match you felt that you had command over the entire match. Uh, from the beginning. Okay. Just the beginning. Just the beginning. That's it. Even though you missed the first question. And? How many first questions have you missed? Probably all of them. I'm not quite sure. But I missed, I didn't miss any in that free-for-all when I won the whole thing. You haven't had anyone else do that for you, Jay. Anyways, let's I, make that I engineering. I wasn't there. There's a reason you weren't there. Hey, I want to know what's going on with Marquia here. Can you tell me or would? I will let Marquia, okay, I'll let Marquia tell you herself. I would like to hear what she's had. Marvelous, going on. Marquia McCartney. Marvelous, thank mm. you. Now, um, it's been a while. I've watched people on Schmodown. I've watched Schmodown itself. I watched championships come and go. And I realize it deserves me. Schmodown deserves marvelous Marquia McCarty. And in particular, Viper Squad deserved me. You know who else deserves me? Rachel Cushion. Rachel Cushing. Also known as the Crusher. <laughs> You're challenging her right now. Rachel, prepare to be crushed because you deserve me baby you deserve everything that you're about to get so prepare yourself but there's no preparation for marvelous wow are we we're talking wait, singles hey wait are we talking, wait, wait, what are we wait talking it's about more here? it's more though okay it's i want to know more i want to know more thank you jay I'm about to take on the android the machine wants to take on the android you got to just put that nail in that coffin on on the fight club. Oh, wait, I get it. There's more. There's more. There's more. Would you until you interrupted me? I'm going to pour salt on this wound so much. Morton salt, ice salt, rock salt. Oh, Emma Fife, the inner geekdom gauntlet is coming up and guess what? You get another help in the Viper squad in the head of this big snake right here. I'm going to take your ass down so much you can cry a puddle of pouring tears that it won't matter. So at the end of the day, marvelous Marquia McCarty, Janine the machine, Stacy, who's putting in work, and the urban gladiator about to shut this thing down. And there's only two things you can do about it. Nothing and deal with it. Damn it. That's right. I am back with the second place finisher, Emma Fife and Fife Club I like all that. together. Second I also place finisher. Need... That sounds nice. That's Out of right. two. But you know what? It sounds better than loser. So I appreciate it that. It was a difficult start for you in this part. How are you feeling yeah, at this you moment? Know, honestly, I don't care. I mean, okay. this is the thing. Janine played great. I she did play can't great. argue against that. She played extremely well, and obviously Jay Washington is very happy, and you know, I think he needs a win. I don't play in this league. I was challenged by That's her, true. and so I said, okay, sure, 
No problem. So you just did this to not back down from a challenge. Is exactly, that kind of yeah. what it's oh, all yeah. about? The Fight Club does not back down from a challenge. Ooh, but speaking of not backing down from a challenge, there's a few challenges that were issued to other people in your club here. Okay. Um, Janine has challenged Mark. I I never met her, so sure, I'll fight her. Yeah. <laughs> okay. And we also have Marquia, the newest member of the Viper Squad, challenging you, Rachel. Yeah, um, she's never played. Maybe she's marvelous, maybe she's not. But like you said, we take the challenges seriously around here. Uh, and it's inner geekdom, so I'm on a mission in that league. So sorry, Marquia, it's not going to happen. Not going to happen. Oh, what's also not going to happen is getting Tylenol after that interview with Jay, which is what I need right now. Um, but here's what I want to know. What is this whole thing with Viper Squad and the Fife Club? What is, is there jealousy? What is going on? Why do they want you so badly? I mean, I think it's obvious. Jay Washington was making a big play for Clark Wolf back in the day when it was the Misfits. You remember the Misfits, Brianne? I try to forget. And, uh, you know, Rachel Cushing kept saying no, no, no. And then I stepped in thanks to the help of Mark Andreco, who agreed to be a competitor for my league. And, uh, you know, Rachel, along with Clark, just jumped right in there. So, frankly, uh, I manage champions. That's what I do. But if anybody else wants to issue a challenge, I'll always say, sure, why not? If you defeat me, then I know that maybe you're going to be a worthy opponent for one of my players. Mm, very good. The rivalry continues, and I'm so glad I'm not a part of it. All right, so Mark has accepted a challenge. Rachel has accepted the challenge. Jay challenged you. I'm assuming you're accepting that challenge. Yeah. What did I say? Fife Club doesn't back down from a challenge. Bring it, Jay. And she's gonna destroy him. He's all sound and fury, signifying zero. Signifying zero is what we like to hear about Jay. Back to you guys. I mean, look at that. All that stuff that went down, that was incredible. Look, first of all, let's start with the with just the machine who cockily calls out the the android, Mark mm -hmm. Andraco here. Mark Andraco now continuing this continuing this faction where we have Andraco now versus the machine. That is very interesting how that's going to go down. Um, I don't know what's going to happen there. And then Jay Washington, the story here is Jay Washington and Marquia. They both know that that inner geekdom that that we have that inner geekdom yep. gauntlet happening. Jay Washington challenging Emma Fife immediately uh, to, to a match inside of that inner geekdom. Emma Fife accepts it. And then Marquia challenges Rachel Cushing, and Cushing accepts it. So right now we have the Fife Club and, and the Viper Squad going head to head to head. We have so many matches between these factions. Who's going to come out on top? Yeah, the, the, the Marquia Rachel matchup is an interesting one, as is Jay. I don't think he's fully gotten over what happened at the Spectacular last year, but I don't want to bury the headline here. Is it the Janine Machine? came to play, she came to win, and she had Emma Fife on the ropes. Emma Fife, a game effort, especially in round three, when she needed it the most. Janine the Machine, just too strong in those first two rounds, Christian. Well, there you go. The Machine starting, I mean, making a play now for Rookie of the Year here, too. Her, Ethan Irwin, so many people out here. Janine starting out big, 2-0. and oh. Comes from being a fan in this league to really showing what she can do. TKO over Emma Fife here. This is big, and if she can do it, what's she going to do? If Mark Andreco looks like he's going to accept it, if he accepts the match, then my goodness, what's going to happen there? The Android versus the machine. All right, so there we go, guys. That is it. That's the match. First of all, thank you very much for joining. Thank you for being a patron of your Patreon. And this is true. Appreciate we it. both talked about it at 2,500 patrons. Myself and Mark Ellis will finally face each other one on one when we get that get 2500. Me that win. So we'll see what happens there. Make sure that you do that. And then it all goes down June 2nd. It's going to happen. The Star Wars number one contender triple threat match. Knapsack, Damon, Scrimshaw, the winner, will play Sam Whitworth at a later date. And then the main event. We just talked about them. Well, you're going to see them live if you're there at the El Portal Theater. The Shire Wolves go head to head against Team Action. And if Team Action wins, they will get a title shot. And the Shire Wolves will be that gateway there. If they cut them off at right, then the action will not get a shot. It all goes down. Get your tickets. So much on the line. Who will Sam Whitworth be looking at? Will Team Action prevail? Will Rachel Cushing have any porgs left? Tomorrow night, you're going to find out. And thank you to everybody out there watching here. Subscribe to Collider Video. Check out the Schmodown Rundown on Apple Podcasts and the movie Trivia Schmodown Facebook page. That's Christian Harloff. I'm Mark Ellis. Would you like to say adieu? Bye.